What's going on, smart people? I know a lot of you probably finished taking the physics GRE this weekend. Some of you might be stressing it more than others, but that means that you're probably in the process of trying to find out where you want to go to grad school. So I figured for today's video, I talk about a helpful resource that'll that'll help point you in the right direction, how to find grad schools that offer uh, research and what you think you might want to study. The website, of course, is gradschoolshopper.com. Let's just take a few minutes to go over how to use it because it's not rocket science. The website is great for physics majors because it's designed for people who want to go to school for the physical sciences. So it also works for people who want to do astronomy or astrophysics. And you can find schools three different ways. One, by actually already knowing the name of the school that you're interested in, or by a general location, or searching by a research specialty. Personally, I don't use it with the search school name option because if I already know the name of the school, I'd rather just go to the school's page itself. Grad School Shopper is not the most accurate when it comes to its information. It's a great jumping off point, but it is not the end all be all resource. So if you already have a school in mind, just go to the school's website. Uh, but if you do have just a, a specialty in mind, then you can kind of throw a net out and catch a whole bunch of grad schools that say that they might offer that specialty. For example, if I were to be interested in nuclear physics, then we can it'll give us a whole bunch of schools. And let's say, let's click on the first one, George Mason University, not too far from where I used to live. And it's going to have a whole bunch of tabs. Some are going to have to do with admissions details. Some will actually have to do with research specialties and what you can actually study. So, for example, we go to the research specialties and staff, and it has a whole bunch of topics that it says that you can do a PhD in for either theoretical or experimental physics. Now, when it comes to these things, this is where I said grad school shopper is not always the most accurate. Um, sometimes people might not be researching this stuff anymore, so it's always good to go to the website itself. So once it says, you know, you can do nuclear physics, let's verify it by going to the website itself. So here we can go to physics.gmu. And you might be tempted to go to academics and go to graduate programs. That's basically always just going to tell you that you can do a PhD or a master's or that kind of thing. What you really want to go to is research, research areas. Every school is going to have a section like this. We go to research areas, and here it has all the topics that its faculty can do research in. And if we do a little quick control F, nuclear, it doesn't actually show up. So sometimes the information that you put in, uh, it might sort of correspond to the research that is done to the school. For example, I know George Mason does a lot of astronomy slash astro stuff. Maybe there's some stellar things, some stellar research going on, and it has to do with nuclear physics, but not what you would typically associate it with. So just tread lightly. Um, this is still a great resource. It will give you accurate information a lot of the times, but that's why I just said, you know, make sure you visit the website itself. Also, what I do like about it is it doesn't just give you the research that you can do. For example, it'll give you some admission stuff, some admission statistics. So it'll say, for example, how many people they admitted to their school over the last uh, applicant period. So for fall of 2017, they had 46 applicants, admitted 20, and enrolled 6. It'll, sometimes it'll give you information regarding the physics GRE, like whether or not it's required. I found that also sometimes this is not the most accurate, but it's still better than nothing. It's better than just Googling nuclear physics and hoping you find a grad school. One thing to keep in mind is that schools have to pay to have their information put on this website. So if you type in a certain buzzword, a string theory, and another school offers it, it might not show up if they didn't pay to have that information put on there. So another great way to find out schools that may pertain to a certain research area is talking to professors at your school who might also do something similar. I feel like I'm kind of coming across like I'm saying it's not the most accurate quite frequently, but it really is a great resource, and you can pretty much always trust the ones that have like hyperlinks associated with the research specialties. So for example, let's pick on string theory. Let's say that I'm going to find a school that does string theory. And let's just go to the first one. Whenever you go to a school and you go to the research specialties, research specialties and staff, if it ends up having actual hyperlinks, it links to the research and having to do with that, you can trust that it probably is going to have that at the school. I'm just saying be cautious and don't just, oh, it's headed on grad school, so let me apply and write all my personal statement about this, even though they might not 
you know, have any research in that. So just, so when you use grad school shopper, use it carefully and couple it with actually going to the grad school's websites themselves and kind of cross checking. And if you have any questions, email a member of the physics department there. But that's really it. There didn't need to be a 10 minute video on grad school shopper existing. It's really straightforward to use. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you didn't already know about it, let me know in the comment section if you did. I'll see you guys tomorrow.